Hey, how's it, everybody? This is Bill from High Fish Gear. Uh, wanted to take a moment to answer some questions. Uh, it's official. We are too busy for me to make videos in the shop anymore, so I've secluded myself here in the warehouse for highfishgear.com so I can share with you a question that people have been asking lately. How do you rig up the saltwater flies that you sell at the shop? Like this one from Three Kings is called the Hinalea Brush. This one from Levia Flies. All local companies that tie flies. And I'm going to demonstrate using this one, which is the Infernal Fly from Automatic Flies. One of my personal favorites. I caught the biggest Umilu from shore that I've caught uh, using this fly and a big hammer bomb. And people are always asking, how do you rig them up? And uh, there's usually, there's three different options. You need a little bit of a weight to get them out into the ocean. Um, casting, a casting weight. And everybody's go-to is going to be the bubble float. The bubble float, so this is the large one. We sell them in medium and small. They're tough bubbles from Rainbow Plastics, also known as Double X Plastics. Uh, this one, when it's full of water, is 1.86 ounces. There's a smaller size, which is 0.86 ounces. You choose the bubble float that matches your rod lure rating the best, so you get the most spring out of your rod when you're casting your flies out. Bubble floats. I also suggest um, hammer bombs. Some guys who are a little bit more experienced wind up using egg lead to cast their flies out. But if you're just getting into it, it's a little risky. So maybe you might want to stick with something a little more simple, like a bubble float or a hammer bomb, which is a slower sinker than lead. So if you don't know how to rig up a bubble float, there's two sides to it. There's a pointy side and there's a fat side. The pointy side is the side that you push down. There you go. It slides all the way out. You put it under the water faucet or you submerge it in water until all the air is out. And as soon as you notice that it's full of water, Push that top right back up in there, seals all the water in there, and then that's the full 1.86 ounces. Uh, you slide the skinny side up your main line, you tie it to a swivel, and then on the other side of the swivel is where you tie your leader going to your fly. Um, I've got a hammer bomb already rigged up over here. Hammer bombs are pretty simple as well. All you got to do is just tie one end to your main line and one end to your leader. I've already got one tied to the main line coming off my 10 foot 6 Tika Salmon Steelhead. And then I have a leader tied to the other side. Everybody's asking, how long do I tie my leader? Um, it's really however you're most comfortable. Nine times out of 10, I'm arm span. That's about it. That's all I tie my leader. It works out every pretty good for me on most of the rods that I cast. Um, I'm gonna recommend the Rapala knot for tying the, the fly. The Rapala knot is basically a non-slip loop and that gives the fly a little bit more action when you're casting and retrieving it. A lot of times flies, um, they're, to me it seems they're kind of dead in the water. You don't really get a lot of action. You've got to do a little jigging action when you're retrieving it to give that fly a little more action, make it look a little bit more lifelike. And the Rapala knot to me seems to give that fly a little bit more wiggle when you're doing the jigging action. So Rapala knot, like I said, is a non-slip loop. Feel free to Google it. There's tons of instructions on how to uh, how to tie the knot. And like I said, it's just a non-slip loop. Trim off the tag end so the fly doesn't get caught on it. High fish gear, stainless steel swivel, uh, scissors that cut both braid and monofilament or fluorocarbon line. So that little loop gives the fly a whole lot more wiggle than just a cinch knot. So when you're retrieving it, doing the little pop 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 the fly will give a little more you see a little more lively action um you like i said you match the weight whether it's lead whether it's a bubble float whether it's a hammer bomb you match the weight to your lure rating on your rod so you can get the most cast out of your rod saltwater flies are wonderful you don't this is what i always tell people you don't get as much action on a fly as you would like say for instance a curly tail grub but the action that you do get usually winds up being substantially bigger than what you'd wind up on a curly tail. Curly tails, you might be more prone to catch uh, smaller fish. You still have the tendency to maybe catch a big one, but you, you wind up catching more smaller fish. With the flies, when something finally does hit it, ooh, hold on, brother. It's going to be a big fish, yeah? So that's pretty much how to rig them up. If you got any questions, shoot them in the comments. Uh, make sure you like the video so you keep seeing videos from us. And be sure to subscribe so you always get notifications when we post new videos. Aloha.
You're working all week and you know more time to fill your tackle box. Just go online to highfishgear.com and buy your fishing stuff.